Hitvi, why am I looking like this, a Punjabi guy? <laughs> uh, did Janvi leave? Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm, I'll just text her. On Venmo? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, okay, lit. Hair looks beautiful. I guess this should be the new Met Gala look. Come on. Run, run, run. Oh, wow. You got hate predators. <laughs> Being professional here. Mm -hmm. Like, whoa. This is fine. Are you sure? Because it can be fixed. Hey, why are you doing this? Like, literally, there's no need. I'm gonna go to sleep like this. Okay. okay. Will this sit like this tomorrow? A little bit. Okay. Well, I don't yeah, have any. It'll be nice and baby. Okay. I'd say we should go to party. So let's talk about something since we're recording a video because I don't think anyone would want to watch us. Yeah. Just recording here. So, Hithi, you wanna tell us a story? A story? Yes. Hmm. What kind of story do you want to listen? Do you want to listen? Do I want to listen? Hmm. Probably something that I already have heard from your childhood. From my childhood. Oh, childhood stories are funny. Okay. Yeah, I need funny. Um. So me and my cousins, we were. Are real... you talking about the time when you killed a goat? No. Okay. No, we didn't kill it. Yeah, you did. No, we didn't kill it. That's a different story to tell. But right now, okay, so me and my cousin, we are such perverts, like big time perverts. Okay, what's new? We <laughs> still we okay, so we used to like play house, but like we would like kiss each other and like what kind of kissing? Like just as a like, like a peck, only, okay, yeah, like a peck and whatnot. So one time, what happened was like we're like we're not getting any guys to like kiss, like what the fuck. <laughs> And we had like little tennis ball balls. <laughs> like, I don't want to know where the tennis ball went. No, it just went in our bras, like boobs. Why? Because we thought we had small, tiny boobs. That's so why no one was liking a us. A tennis ball? Yeah, no, no, like um, little, you know, table balls. But why? Because we thought that that would attract guys to enhance your boobs. Yes. So how old we were you? That, and then we were like in second grade. And then we walked out like, da, 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 da. like with this, uh, <laughs> mommy ka heels went gay. Okay. With my mom's heels, we walked out, and it was funny. And did you get any guys that way? No. No. <laughs> it was just a sad. A couple unsuccessful attempts. Mm -hmm. At. But yeah, me and my boobs. cousin we were pretty perps. And then she was a bitch too, like. Which cousin are we talking about? Rashi. That's Rashi. the only cousin we're talking about. Yeah, like Rashi's my favorite cousin. She's coming here, right? On August? Yep, yep. Okay. She's okay. So, when she's not with me, so she would be the wife and I'll always have to be the husband. <laughs> so when Don't tell the... me you put a banana anywhere. No, no, no. That would be funny. But, you know what? She used to make me do it like, okay, so when I used to go to Bombay, um, at her place, she had friends there. So, she would be wife of this one girl, Haley, and Haley would be the Hayley's. husband. And me and Jay, Haley's brother, we used to be pets. We used to be dogs. Like, she would make us dogs. Like, literally, and she would give us plates and whatnot. And we'd have to lick from the plates and whatnot. That is so great. I have actually never I actually never heard of that story. I don't know if you're making it up. No, I pinky promise you, you can ask her. My childhood was really, like... Traumatizing. Yeah. Now that I hear it, It was very pets. fun. Too much fun. So you must be the cow. No, no, no. We both used to be Dudwala. And Mamina, Naya, the new soap, she would bring the soap bars. And we would fill up the bathtub. And we'll sit on like the edge of the bathtub. And we'll put the, uh, what is it called? The soap? soap in the water. So it becomes like uh, milk? milky, right? So, like, what? Dudwala, Dudwala. And... Yeah, mom, what? <laughs> and we would just literally finish the whole bar, and my mom would yell at us so much. She'd be like, "What the hell are you doing?" Look, look, uh, 
अब लोग मिल्क में पानी डालते हैं इधर सब साबुन डालेंगे हाँ दैट इज सो फनी आई वैक्स वी नेवर हर्ड ऑफ दैट हाउ ओल्ड वर यू गाइस अगेन just like okay so my um uh, my fucked up ears were like from fucked up ears like yeah. it's not anymore <laughs> kindergarten <laughs> kindergarten to um fifth sixth seventh grade that's that's a lot of fucked up ears i mean yeah. if you ask me i feel like even right now my ears are fucked up uh, you know in a different way but yeah i don't think you're anyone's pet but you're a lot of other things mm mm-hmm. i'm a boyfriend yeah i mean i didn't even i was didn't even going to say that but I was thinking of a story that I feel like maybe not everyone should know about. What? Freshman year. Tell me, tell me. Tell me. You know. Just tell me. The again. freshman year story. Oh, my story? <laughs> yes. I this mean, is going to go online, so you don't want everyone to know. Unless you do, then... Freshman year was just a shit show. It was a good year. Remember, like, I used to come always, like, come there. Hell, yeah, you would, you would come to so dressed up and whatnot. And now? Now look at me. I just, like... Anything, I don't give a fuck. It, really, I was... I don't know why I was so dressed up. Yeah, that time you gave too many fucks, and now you give so many negative fucks. Yeah, like... Honestly, when people... You know how we see memes? Yeah. Like, freshman year. Oh, yeah. You know, you that, is so that is that so is true. That is so true. But also, like, I think it's partially because, you know, there's Raga now, so... Well, when I go out with him, I kind of dress up. Like, you, you do dress up, but, like... But like I, I remember when you I remember when we even if we had to go downstairs yeah. you'd be like wait let me change wait let me dress up yeah. like literally just going downstairs and I would in my mind I would think oh my god hey you're kidding me right and now we can go to like a fancy restaurant and you will come in like leggings and like you know oh, maybe okay. like a decent top at tops yeah me too that's it yeah, so yeah. just like oh. yeah that's a huge change no it's it's good in a way now you don't have to pretend and put too much effort yeah because your boyfriend accepts you the way you are true it's good yeah it's made you lazy tell me a story about you i my biggest story of my childhood is that i don't remember anything i yeah the only thing i remember from in childhood is that i remember this is not even a story it's just like because i don't have any memories from childhood so this is just a memory that i have it's not a story I remember I think I was in 5th grade mm-hmm. and I was like oh my god 5th grade I am in 5th grade mm-hmm. and all the 5th grades used to be on the second like 5th 6th or like 4 or 5 or something it used to be on second grade mm-hmm. and like 8th and above would be on the third floor mm-hmm. so I like I remember thinking in my mind oh my god like I can't believe I'm in 5th grade like in no time I will be in 8th grade I will be so big how am I going to do this <laughs> And I feel like I'm in the same exact state right now. I'm a junior at college right now. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm going to be a senior next year. How am I going to do this thing? Mm-hmm. I feel like our concerns stay the same. It's just, it just, it's just but the situations change, but our concerns are the same. So true. So it's like a whole big circle again. And yeah, like I used to see my seniors, like in high school and stuff. And I'd be like, oh my God, they're so cool. Yeah. Like seniors, I'm in what, eighth grade. Not, it doesn't matter. Like. You know, one one time I'll be a senior. I'll get the same respect for my juniors. <laughs> now I look at high school seniors. I'm like, you're dumb as fuck. Yo, for no real, no yes. But honestly, everyone in this world they realize after a while that you are such a different person. Like a s- when you started, yeah, yeah. I remember when I was a freshman at college. I think the first week or the, actually the first couple of days, I met a met a guy named Jay, and I remember he was in his third year studying biology and you know i was just making very small conversations with him and i i remember thinking like oh my god he's a junior he's such a you know old guy you know like he knows what he's doing with his life and i remember asking him you know what his major is and he said biology and i asked him and then he went to say that oh but he hasn't declared the major yeah. And I was like, wait, what do you mean that you haven't declared the major, but you're a biology major? It didn't make sense in my mind. Yeah. But now I know how it works. You know, you can t- still take the class. Then I don't have to exactly declare the class right away. You can declare the class. I mean, the major just about at any time. Yeah. But at that time, this was like the end of the world. Like I was thinking about this and my stupid ass, instead of going online, and actually researching how what he was saying in my mind, I'm just like, wow junior he's so freaking cool like yeah he doesn't need to declare his major he's just gonna do some magic but you know it just time flies time flies i don't want to grow old i'm okay so funny thing 
I'll be in Ragako, I told him, so in the morning, I was like, baby, I am getting weird dreams. So dreams? I'm getting dreams that my teeth, they're falling. <laughs> they're falling, and I'm like, you know, literally gargling my teeth in my mouth. Uh, how old are you? I am like the same age I am. Oh. Like, I'll be, I'll be like, in a few days, I've been getting those dreams, and I'm like, that's weird. So me and him, we Google, and it says like, you're insecure. Did you actually Google it? I did Google that shit. I and actually it's... did because I was I was like what the fuck because there uh, uh, you know after every dream there is like a there is a um what is it called there's an idea an after effect not an after effect but there is a reason for every dream there is okay I see what you're saying yeah so, like something inspires that dream yeah like you you don't just see a dream like out of the blue but there is something that inspires it so I searched it up and it's basically if you're insecure. Or if you're scared of growing old. And I'm really oh, scared. Oh, that just, that literally just gave me chills. Like, I felt the spine down my down my chest. I'm just like, hoo hoo. Yeah. Like, you're and... insecure. Like, they said that you're, if you're insecure about any of your body parts or you're insecure about growing old. And I'm like, growing that's... old sounds like a... But yeah, I'm very scared about growing old. I mean, if that's the case, then I should have seen like 10 of those dreams at least every day. No, yeah. growing old as in growing old and looking bad. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know I'll grow old and still look fabulous. <laughs> That's not a concern, you know? I don't know. I'm really paranoid about this shit. I feel like if you have low expectations, then there's very little chance to fuck that up. Mm-hmm. So, you know. I think as long I'm gonna as... I'm going to get Botox. No, you're not. I am. Like, if you I would not old, need it. You and... will not need it, Hate 3 I if, if I have to, fuck that shit up. Nah. I look young. Forever. I'm telling you, when you're with Raghav, you literally don't care. Right now, you're thinking it. If Raghav was here, he'll be like, no, baby, I love you. I will love you with uh, whatever way you are. Then you'll be like, oh, baby, and you'll give him a hug. Um, yeah, I'll give him a hug, but still think about it. I'm yeah, very insecure about my looks. What looks? Like, you're... No, like, as in, like, what if... Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. If I grow old, and I'm going to look like a ugly... What's old for you? 35 is old. Come on, 35 is not old. It's old for me. That's when you see, like, wrinkles and stuff. You know, you know, it's like, I remember when I started college, I remember, you know, thinking about people and thinking, like, you know, 27-year-old, oh, my God, they're so old. Like, there's no way I'm going to, you know, associate myself with them. Mm -hmm. But now, as a 20-year-old who's, you know, just turning 21 in a few days now, I, like, feel like 27 is almost my age. Yeah. Because if you think about it, it's not that far off. It's not. And it's just crazy. a few years back, I would think 27 is such so, a crazy big number. Yeah. And now it's just... Like, my, as, as an Indian mom, they would be like, oh, no, you have to get married by this age. Oh, no. And now I'm just like, I can't imagine myself getting married before, like, 27, 28. Right? 20, yeah. And like, at least. Yeah. But I know some people are going to get married yep. in the next four years. Krish. And look, Krish, yeah. Krish will get married, like, in two years. I know it. Not two years, maybe. I I know it. She she'll get married. Two years? I mean, yeah, because she's gonna go back to India. I know she's not gonna work there, or maybe if even if she does, like, she wants to get married. That's her like one of her dreams. Yeah, man. I wish I, I wish I was a, even a little bit like her. Yeah. So excited to get married, but I don't know. I'm excited. But I'm really excited. I'm not excited for to get married. I'm just excited to start a life. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, like buy a house. Yes, that thing. Those are completely different things from getting married. I feel yeah. like yeah. buy a house, start a family. Mar- marriage is not like. When you say start a family, do you mean babies? Babies, yes. <laughs> I want no, babies. you mean like puppy babies, right? Puppy babies, yeah. Not an actual baby. No, I'm not really not right ready. now. For that, we'll give it like next ten years or ten at least seven years. Right? Yeah. Five years? Yeah. Oh, hells yeah. yeah. I'm not bringing a baby in until I'm, like, successful. Yeah, until you become... Something. Until you can buy two houses, don't buy a baby. No. That's That should be the rule. Yeah. No babies until two houses. Because babies... Houses. It takes a village to raise, to, to raise a baby. Yep. So it now... Have two houses, so, you know... When the baby's born, they can go to the other house. Oh, my God. Babies are so fragile. Today, I, when I went to the top today, oh my god, there were so many cute babies. So, oh my god, this is hot. Yeah. It's hot. That's what oh. I'm putting, putting. Did you do the first? Yeah, I can see that you did it here, not the front, right? No, me. Okay, okay. So, we're 
It's lit. I wish I had somewhere to go now. Nice. Let me hit up one of my hoes. <laughs> you like, yo, what's up? Tell me oh. a joke. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no? No. No. I always thought he was cute. Which one? Check out. Man. Look at your blushing and shit. That's because I'm wearing blush. Shut the fuck up. No. I just like I've been getting too many holes, you know. It's it's hard to keep up too many people. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean I'm glad that you're at least opening up to like guys. It's not even that guy. It's just I'm opening up in general. Yes, yes. So for me it's not like a guy thing, it's just it, you're generally op opening up and Yeah, which I kinda like a lot more than, you know I, I feel like a lot of keep especially girls around my age or even younger in fact you know they were always like oh you like like you know when you put tennis balls mm -hmm. <laughs> i was never that i would i don't know what i would i would rather do my homework honestly i was one of those kids that's good that's, that's... good but i mean but i still failed computer org <laughs> so all that doing homework led me to nothing so now i feel like you know there's a point there's a big breaking point for everyone yeah and i think i had too much you just have to you need to have some fun yeah because i feel like more studying does not make you more smarter yeah that, no. it doesn't do that you you know you, just you need can some, you know experiences and you know to make you smart yeah i've seen so. people who have dropped out and just traveled and they're smart people yo who what's his name uh bill gates did that uh <laughs> I'm pretty sure Adam Levine did that. I'm not too sure. I'm sure. He's a good singer, though. You know who I'm actually jealous of? And I always think about this. Obama's daughter, who got into Harvard. Yeah. I always think about it. I mean, I'm, I'm not doubting, I'm not saying that she's not smart. But I always think, like, what? Like, you know, to get into Harvard is a huge, huge deal. Yeah. So I always think, like... What percentage, what percentage of her getting accepted to this such a prestigious university is the fact that, you know, she is smart. Obama's daughter. She's President Obama's oh, daughter. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure she's super, super smart. I'm, you know, not doubting that. I feel like, like she's smart because Michelle and Obama, they both... They like, both are very educated. Very yeah. yeah, true, true, true. Very smart. And they, they promote, like, a lot of, like, girls, education and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of those things have to have to go with uh, their daughters, so... Yeah. I guess so. She designed her own um designed? Yeah. What do you mean designed? Like uh she they just got a new house, right? Because they moved out of White House. Oh. So she, you know, designed. Did you see their own? No. <laughs> How do you know it's good then? Well, I don't know. It's just good. So you assume it's good because you know President Obama's daughter did it. Yeah. That's probably what the Harvard people thought. Yeah, I think so. But I just not hating on her. Yeah, me neither. I think she's gorgeous. She's yeah. probably really smart. A lot of haters. Wait, um, wait. I'm gonna get bobby pins. Wait, what? Why are we doing bobby pins? Yeah. I have a hair, hair, hair band, mm, hair thingy here. We can use this. Curls look nice on you. I know. What doesn't look nice on me? Good job, girl. <laughs> but for real, what doesn't look nice on me? It's a genuine question. Everything looks like nice on me. Mm -hmm. I like listen. I spend most of my life in sweatpants, and nobody ever told me that you're ugly. So you know, I well, think. Well, I told you. <laughs> well, you told me out of love, okay? Yeah. <laughs> because you were being a little too honest. But I feel like majority of the world accepted me the way I was, mm -hmm. and you know, so there. No. What made you like like makeup and stuff? Because I don't know, I like it's my third year at my university, and I still haven't done you know anything at all that any very typical person girl does. So it's all it was like a lot of chain of events. Also, we're gonna keep it still PG. We're not gonna talk about other things. Okay. Because you know I don't want this to get flagged or anything. But, yeah. Okay, let me see. Not even let that. Let me see. Do you the, like dude, this? no, you. I look like you. Shut the no, 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 I'm not saying like in, in a bad way, but I'm just saying that's such your style. Yeah, so. To look as a goody goody. You're like very, like very fresh and profesh. For me, I like it a little bit messy. 
like that. A little bit of like, like that would be better. I guess so. I don't like puffy though.